Welcome Aries to your July career and money reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Aries, I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Aries, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Aries, I'm going to start off over here with good luck and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this good luck energy is for Aries, please. And we have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Aries, we see such a wonderful energy coming through for you in an area where you have been incredibly disappointed and hurt. This, my dear Aries, could be the energy of losing your job, of being fired, of having to close your business, of having to move from a home you loved. This, my dear Aries, could also be the energy of being very hurt by somebody in the work environment, of a boss treating you very badly, of having a big fallout with a particular colleague. As you can see, it could be very many things, but with Three of Swords, my dear Aries, we are being told that you were really deeply hurt by what happened. Now, it is in this particular area that we have good luck now coming in. And with that, we've got the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles tells me, my dearest Aries, in July, you get your groove back. You're back in the saddle again. So if you lost your job suddenly, we see now that you find a job and you begin working in an environment that is very good for you. You feel comfortable. You feel connected where you are now. If this, my dear Aries, is the energy of you being very hurt by a particular colleague, what we see that is in July, you move on from whatever this is. Either you make peace with this colleague or you just simply let it go and you move on. Whatever it is, my dear Aries, we must take into consideration that there is good luck that comes in, that shifts this energy to the past and allows you now to constructively move forward. So it could be, my dear Aries, that you have a boss you don't like and you really don't get on with. Something might happen that your boss moves to another department or your boss is asked to leave the company or you are moved to another department. Lack is on your side. Whatever has caused this is now changing completely for you and you are going to feel like, wow, I'm on track again. I can focus on my job. I can focus on my career. I feel good where I am. I can concentrate on what I'm doing and just get on with the show. So please take this in an area where it might resonate with you. Now let us see what increase your value is all about and I will just get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what increase your value is for Aries, please. And we have Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords. This is a very interesting message and it might not resonate with everybody. For my Aries, who are very concerned that they don't have any solid savings, insurance, retirement plans in place, 
And it's really worrying you, my dear Aries. This is our Nine of Swords energy. You know, thinking, what am I going to do? I've got no savings. I haven't organized anything. I haven't got a retirement plan in place like many of my colleagues and friends who have. And for some of my Aries, this could be a big concern. Aries, this could also be that you have some excess money and you have no idea what to do with it. And you're so anxious that you're not investing your money and your money is not working for you. This would be the best time to talk to somebody who has knowledge with the subject matter. This could also be, my dear Aries, that you now come to a place in your life where you understand that you are not being paid your value and you either ask your boss for an increase or if they don't agree, you start looking for a job that pays better. But it is that recognition of now I have to increase my value. I can't just stay year in and year out in the same job. I've got to move upward. I've got to grow. I've got to climb that career ladder. There is another example of this could be is that if you decide to sell your home, if you want to increase the value of your home, you might decide that you will do minor renovations, even if it's just painting and giving it a fresh overall new appearance. So this, of course, as you can see, is really going to come through so differently for everybody. But if something is worrying you, my dearest Aries, the best bet is now to look at this issue head on, address it and sort it out. And my dearest Aries, if something is worrying you, you are being told that in July, this is the perfect month to get smart about it, to increase your value so that you can quieten the worry, the stress and the concern. Seven of Swords is asking you now to be smart, think ahead, be strategic. How can you take care of yourself? What can you put in place? Would it be a savings plan? Would it help you to speak to somebody professionally that can help you organize insurance policies, some kind of investments that will mature when you're ready to retire? My dear Aries, this is the time to increase your value, especially if you are worried about it. Think about it, organize yourself, speak to the right people. And you know, my dear Aries, you can just start off by speaking to somebody you know who's very clued up with money. There's always that one friend, that one family member, or that one colleague that knows how to manage their money, who is very smart with their money. These ideas and these plans perhaps can come from you. The trick now is to stop worrying and to start doing. So if this relates to you in any way, my dear Aries, put something into motion in July. And before you know it, this Nine of Swords energy is going with our Three of Swords into the past because you have a solid plan in front of you. Right, let us see now what God knows is all about and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this God knows energy is for Aries, please. And we have the Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Aries, you are presenting under this energy as Queen of Pentacles. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Pentacles we are speaking about. Now, it's very auspicious that you are coming out as Queen of Pentacles because this is the Queen that is associated with money and abundance. As you can see here, she's sitting very relaxed on her beautiful throne in a lush landscape, just casually holding her pentacle. Her abundance, her security are naturally part of her. She understands the world of money. 
she understands the energy of money on the physical plane. As you can see here, we have this little rabbit. And that little rabbit is a big sign of good luck. So we have the good luck energy coming out twice. So now we must understand that luck is with you, my dear Aries. It's up to you now to make the right decisions, move out of any kind of painful energy, be smart about your money, and really understand what you're doing and how you're doing it. The very lovely message we have, my dear Aries, is that Spirit is coming in and is letting you know that God knows about all your trials and tribulations, of all the challenges you have been through and all the hurdles you are overcoming. God sees everything and Spirit is acknowledging, my dearest Aries, that through all this you are seen as Queen of Pentacles. You are seen as someone who is abundant and that in July Spirit is coming in with the gift of good luck coming in strong, my dear Aries. I think you're going to feel this in very many areas of your life when it comes to your abundance. Those niggling, hard energies that you have been through and might still be going through are going to fade, if not disappear in July, because the good luck energy will override everything and bring in new possibilities and opportunities for you. The Page of Swords tells us that as these challenging energies release, my dear Aries, you are going to be so full of energy, passion, motivation and enthusiasm. You've got ideas, you've got plans and you are so excited now to move into the future. It's like a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders and you're just looking to possibilities and opportunities coming your way. With Page of Swords here, my dear Aries, I see you bouncing with energy. You feel like you can do almost anything. Very lovely message coming through there. Right, let us move on now and get a message from your angels for this month. So we just want to see now what Aries angels would like to share with them, please. And you have got your ready. Aries, your angels are letting you know you're ready. You're ready to let go of the pain, whatever this was for you. And you are so ready now to move on. Take the good luck that is coming your way and just move forward. You're ready to let go of all the stress and anxiety because there is a plan to be made that you can increase your value and your security. And you are ready now to encompass the Queen of Pentacles energy because that is how Spirit sees you. You are ready to sit on your throne and receive all the wonderful good luck that is coming to you in July. Very exciting, my dear Aries. That is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful and successful July. And I am sending you all so much love.